Hello peace, thank you so much for joining for another video. This is Arlene's Things. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on the link below. And if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for joining me and welcome you to my channel. Today I'm having breakfast with you guys. I'm having chick little chicken tenders with bacon and me eggs. You know, I have to have my eggs. I also have some ice cold coffee because, you know, here in California it's hot. And also because I have me eggs, you guys know I always have to have my red hot sweet chili so hope you guys are having a great day today my wife is at home i mean she's not here today she's working so i'm doing this solo um so i'm gonna go ahead and dig in because i'm really really hungry guys i'm mm. this is barbecue sauce this is um honey mustard sauce this and barbecue i'm not so crazy right now this morning let me try this one instead Mm. And that's a good combination. I'm gonna put my red hot sweet chili on my eggs. Today I woke up hungry, so I decided to make me, instead of just having an egg or two, I decided to make myself some breakfast. I'll probably go lighter on the dinner. Mmm, this is so good. Mm, 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 mm. I'll bake it. No, no, bake it there. No. Okay, may I have a little bite on me egg? Oh my god. I don't know why I don't eat so much. Why? I don't know why, but I just said I don't know why. But I don't know why when I have hot coffee, I love hot coffee, the creamer and all that. But for some reason, when I have iced coffee, it tastes so much better. I don't know what it is. I taste more the cream. It tastes like, I don't know how to explain it, heavier. Mm. Anyways, I'm loving my iced hot coffee. I mean, my iced coffee. Okay, it has to be some bacon. Bacon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which is good, guys. I'm telling you guys, sometimes I don't have time to watch a lot of my Bob Bang fellows, YouTubers. Sometimes life does get busy. But when I start watching, I can't stop. I had to go one. I tried to go through my inbox with people, the people that put in new videos. I try to say loyal to you guys. You know, if I don't, if I miss a video here and there, guys, it's not because I don't want to watch it. Sometimes it's just bombarded. And I try to make time, sometimes in the morning, sometimes in the evening, sometimes in the, you know. Please don't get upset at me if I don't comment in every video. It's not that I don't want to, and I appreciate you guys coming to my video and my all my you know postings. I really appreciate you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna try to stay as loyal because I'm a very loyal person, and I do appreciate when somebody's being kind to me and showing me love. So, anyways, I've been watching some good ones last night. I stay up to really late. You guys crack me up. Some of these mukbang videos are awesome. I also like the ones you no know, talking because of the crunchiness of the food, you know. My whole life changed a couple months ago, guys. Like I told you, I never used to watch mukbangs. I didn't even know what mukbangs was until I, you know, Mimi Mukbang asked us to subscribe to her. And now I can't get enough. It's like, I don't even go to my personal Facebook. I mean, I have a lot of family and personal Facebook. Sometimes when I go log in, I have like 15, 20 different postings or messages, you know? I don't have time because I'm so much into the mukbanging world. I'm so, 
This community is so beautiful, guys. I'm really, really, the amount of love that I've received in the last month. I've been only doing this since July 30th. I don't think I ever got that much love from any other media, social media. So I really, really appreciate being here. And I appreciate you guys' comments and love. Words cannot describe how much I appreciate. So anyways, I want to thank you guys. And I'm just loving it. I'm loving this new community. I'm loving the commodity. I'm loving everything about it. This is so good. So today, which is breakfast, like I said, there are days I wake up, I usually don't wake up hungry. I usually take two, three hours before I actually have something to eat. I said, hey man, I was starving. I said, man, why am I going to make myself suffer? I just have a lighter dinner, you know, and that's it. Me eats. Yup, yup. <laughs> Hope everybody's safe. These this weather is freaking me out. It has to happen freaking every year and that sucks. We're thinking of moving back up east. Obviously, I'm thinking of moving east. My wife and I, first she wanted to look, she used to look at, we used to watch every Saturday morning, half an hour show, and it shows all the different homes are being sold in New York, like the outskirts. Nice homes, beautiful homes. Then we went to visit one of my wife's nephew, North Carolina. We fell in love with North Carolina. I fell in love hard. I mean, I wanted to grab myself right now and, and leave right there and then. So, I would love to retire back east. I would love to. The only thing that scares me, I live in Puerto Rico. That was my first Spanish I learned when I was five. I went to Puerto Rico. I remember we used to have a lot of um, thunderstorms and bad so that uh, i'm always when i think about it i got i get freaked out because i remember how scared we were when i was a kid um and then we went to argentina when i was eight so my first spanish if i speak to puerto rican people because what happened well you know i started talking like them because that was my first spanish and then i went to argentina and i was there for six years and then i got the castilian way but whoever i'm with is weird my wife always says, um, I'm like a chameleon, but I'm not a chameleon. It's like when you're with people you know and speak the language that you know, and because, you know, when I went to Puerto Rico, it's my first Spanish, it starts sticking to me. But then when I speak to my brother or other Argentinians, then I kind of speak more Argentina. I don't know how to explain it. But anyways, every time I think about thunderstorms and stuff, I remember how scared we all were. Um, so that's the only thing that scares me. I would love to retire back east. I would love because I'm, I'm from New York. I was born in Queens. Yes, I know the same. I'm not going to even say, you know who was born in Queens, who's running our country now. But anyways, that's what I was I was born. Um, so I would love to go there, but I don't know where. Um, we need to do more um, homework. I do not want to be somewhere that is going to be every year like now. We're going to have to worry about a twister or about a hurricane or about a tsunami. We need to do our homework because, again, it's kind of sucks to say this, but I'd rather live in an earthquake area than a thunderstorm. I don't know, maybe again, because when I was a kid, I got kind of like traumatized. But uh, if you guys have any ideas, you know, you want to care to go to Georgia or Virginia or Tennessee or, you know, North Carolina, I will not go by the keys to South Carolina because I know they always gets hit. But if you guys have any suggestions, 
any place that you know you've been there for a while, you know that it's beautiful. We love nature. This is why we want to go to North Carolina. I mean, to back east, especially when we went to North Carolina. Everything was so beautiful. It's not like here that all the plants and all the um, nature looks like thirsty because, you know, it doesn't rain here much. So if you guys know of anywhere, I really would appreciate if you can comment in the link below um, someplace back east that we can probably think of retiring, retiring, but that you don't, maybe more inland, um, that you don't get those thunderstorms and uh, hurricanes and stuff like that. Just that kind of travel freaks me out. So anyways, um, please, so if you guys know anywhere, I really, really would appreciate it. My wife is doing a lot of homework. Of course, it's not going to be right now. That's some years ago before we retired, but we were like starting to maybe we can get a little home just to, you know, go back and forth until we retire. But that's our plan to get like a little vacation home. And then once we retire, we sell this home and then we end up there. But before we do that, my wife is probably thinking of when we retire to probably selling and then renting for a while, but I would like to already have my home before I retire. So if you guys have any comments, I would appreciate it. So I'm gonna go back to eating because that was a long, long, long story and I'm starving, so I'm gonna go back to eating, guys. Anyways, I hope everybody's safe. Mm. 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 It's so good. I'm sorry, guys, when I like something a lot, I grunt. Mm. I don't know why I do that, but I do. I do, I do. Mm, I make sounding noises. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Me bacon. I try to get the thicker bacon. Sorry, guys. The thick bacon because my wife doesn't like when the bacon is thick. She likes the skinny, skinny ones. Mmm, that was so good. I told you guys I also love bacon. Mmm. Mm. Mm. So I tried to leave her the skinny one because I know she loves those, even though I probably didn't do a great job. I've got a lot of skinny ones, but. Me, it's. It's. I love it. Mm. Mmm, now this is yum yum. I know not everything is good, but I got protein, I got protein, and somewhere in here, hopefully I got some protein. But if I can have this protein every day, day and night, and it's supposed to, this is supposed to be protein, I could have this every day, I could be in a diet for the rest of my life, you know what I'm saying? Mm. This is so good. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to go and get some Popeyes soon. I've been watching a lot of videos of Popeyes and I love, love, love Popeyes. So I'm going to have to watch. I'm going to have to go and get, we're going to have to make a run soon to Popeyes. So I've been watching some of the mukbangers guys. You guys are making me hungry. Every time I see people eating Popeyes. With that crunchiness of that chicken. This is kind of crunchy, but Popeyes is like, you can hear from a mile away. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Barbecue sauce. I miss doing about these mock fights with my wife. I know I started by myself. She goes, it's your thing, it's your thing. Bad miss her. I know. I'm kind of mushy like that. I'm sorry, you guys, but I do love to spend time with her, even though she does get on my nerves on a daily basis and I get on hers. I know we're weird. I'm weird. She's more sane. I'm the weird one. <laughs> no. 
I'm a handful. And I know, I know, I know, I know. Look, I want to show you guys. See that little piece of chicken inside? There's chicken in there. Chicken! Chicken! Mm. Again, chicken and eggs! Mm. This is good. My mom will call this a breakfast of champion. <laughs> this is my mom's breakfast of champion. I'm <laughs> tossing Bacon. We. The reason we always say bacon, me and my wife, give a little bit of insight um, story. Our son graduated. When he graduated, his counselor. He was best friend with his counselor's son. So she told us, she, had to, she said, hey, why don't you guys send your son to China? I'm about to send my son. I said, for an exchange student. And go, we don't have $5,000 to send him. go, no, no, no. If you guys want, you can sponsor, you can host four kids for two weeks. And then you can send your son for free. So we started doing that. We sent our son to China. He was there for a month. He had the time of his life. And then we took care of four kids for, for two weeks. Well, since then, they've been calling us every year. This is like eight years ago. Hey, can you guys host these kids? We need, you know, we need a home, you know, can you host these four kids? So we've been doing that twice a year. I enjoy it. I'm learning a little bit of Chinese. Ni hao ma, ni hao. I mean, a little bit, you know, here and there. I love the culture, I love to take care of kids, so I don't mind, you know, even though we have to cook a lot and we have to take him to school and all that, I really don't mind having kids because I do miss our son here with all his friends. So anyway, so I guess over there they don't eat much bacon for some reason because every time we have our, 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 our foreign exchange students come in every year, I cook for them breakfast. I, I, I do the cooking, my wife does, you know, the cleaning and all that and I do a lot of the cooking. So I like to make him good breakfast. I'll make him um, eggs, because everybody likes different eggs, um, you know, potatoes, um, bacon. But every time I make bacon, I try not to make bacon every day, you know? Um, I like to give him pancakes and other stuff, but they're always asking for bacon. We want bacon, 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 bacon. So that's the inside joke with us. Every time me and my wife talk about bacon, is that every year it doesn't fail when I make bacon. If I make it in the beginning of this day, I know they're gonna want it every day. So what I do, I'll, I'll introduce them to other foods, American foods, pancakes, French toast, eggs, you know, and then two, three days before they go home, or four days before they go home, I start cooking bacon. And that's, they always ask, can we have more bacon, more bacon? So that's our inside joke. If you see my wife and I talk about bacon a lot, bacon, bacon, bacon. Don't tell her, but I'm telling you, that's our inside joke. And we do love, we, we get them twice a year. And I'm, we only have one group this year, and now we're going to get another group in most likely beginning of next year. So that's, I do it because I love it. I mean, they do pay you, but I do it because I love having kids, you know. And our son is grown out of the house, so that's one way to be able to, and they're so cute. They sometimes send them when they're like five years old. And they're so, it's, most of the time we have a teacher with us. Um, they come with them, so that's if you guys have never done foreign exchange students, they don't stay for like sometimes they stay for a week or two. I think the longest we had was five weeks, and that was a lot, but you just a week or two, and so extra money you guys can make. Um, and uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful um experience. I really enjoy hosting those kids, anyways. I'm gonna finish my food. That was a long story about bacon, bacon, bacon. I'm about to finish. Mm. You know what? I usually love barbecue.
barbecue sauce for my chicken butt. I mean, I'm gonna have a little bit right now, but honey mustard. Mmm, I'm on point. I like it up more. Yummy, yummy. From my tummy. No, I'm not gonna whisper, okay, guys? I know a lot of videos are whisper, but I, my wife always says I, I, I'm louder when I whisper than when I, when I talk, so I'm not gonna try to that. Mmm. We want to go home. Okay, guys, you know what I always do? Usually, I always keep my favorite part of the meal for the end. I have my last piece of it. Mwah. Yummy. <laughs> that was delicious. Delicious. It's mm. great breakfast. Anyway, guys. I'm done. I'm full. Hope you guys have a great, great week and weekend. Um, you know, hope everybody's safe. Thank you so much for joining me. Again, if you like my video, please give a thumbs up and not give a thumbs down. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment the link below. Thank you so much for joining us. And please don't forget to ring the bell. Ring the bell, bell, bell. Okay, and you put it to, you know, set it up to all that way you don't know, miss any of my uploads. Again, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Hope you have a safe, safe weekend and week. Until next time.